Hi, I'm Drew Solowski, Vice President and ISA Certified Arborist at Jeru Tree and Lawn. Today we're going to talk a little bit about why we thin out trees. We're standing here now with uh, Mr. Pillsbury, the homeowner, and uh, we're about to uh, proceed to work on his maple tree. And I thought I'd ask Mr. Pillsbury why you called us in today to have this tree for him and why it's important to you. Well, this is a fast-growing tree. Uh, it's a Norway maple. It's got dense shade and. A Every year or two it has to be cut back because of wires here that supply my house with electricity and uh, cable and the internet connection and the branches have to be kept away from the wires. And then on uh, the, uh, the other side the branches overhang the gutters. And we also want to take care of the dead wood here. We'd like to open up the tree a little bit so that the lawn uh, can fill in a little bit better. Maples are always a little tough to try to get grass to grow under, and the more sunlight, the better the lawn's going to do. I'm standing here with uh, Will Cowley. Will, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking off some of the lower limbs around here to allow some more light on the lawn. Uh, standard thinning, we're moving to the dead wood, about 25 to 30 percent of the leaf mass of the tree. And we're going to, we want to get it away from the house. We want to get it away from the electrical wires and provide clearance. And, probably let a little bit more light onto the dogwood to keep the dogwood a little bit drier. So right now I'm just getting ready to remove this uh, dead limb that goes over the uh, secondary wire and phone wires. again a few hours later taking a look at the finished product. Uh, now as you can see we have much more clearance from the house, the roof, the wires, the dogwood tree and I'm standing here looking up at a beautiful canopy minus the deadwood and we'll leave here knowing that Mr. Pillsbury has a more beautiful tree and a safer tree for the winter.